Hey, a very good evening all of you. I thought I'll provide you a quick solution to the aptitude section. Um, so there were 10 questions and I remember all 10 of those. So let's discuss it. Uh, the first question that uh, I would want to discuss is about the internal angle of the star. So it was given that five equal line segments make a star and what is the internal angle? So the internal angle was coming out to be 36 degrees, right? Then there was a question that um, Q um, like S has to always be on the right and uh, P and R cannot be adjacent to one another. So how many arrangements we can have? Um, so for this question, the answer was six arrangements, right? So these are the six arrangements that I've written down over here. You can cross check um, P and R could not be adjacent to one another and Q had to be uh, S had to be on the right side of Q. Okay, this was the criteria. Then there was a question based on folding of uh, a of paper of size six into four okay and there was there was an operation given to us um that how we have to fold those uh, fold that paper so for that the correct answer was coming out to be 13, 13 is to 7 okay they had asked the ratio of n is to m and that was coming out to be 13 is to 7. then there was a question that was based on like a certain operations were given to us and they had asked that what would what will be the value of x so the x value was coming out to be equal to y um, then there was again a question based on operations where they had asked the value of lambda and they had given a particular operation. So when we uh, when we applied that operation to find out the value of lambda, it was coming out to be zero. There was two. There were two questions from your English, uh, like general English. One question, uh, the answer was easier. Like uh, there, there was a sentence given and we had to fill in the blanks that this particular thing is easier than doing this something like it is easier said than done something like that it was there so the correct answer was easier okay and then the next question was that uh, it was given to us that a statement was given either p marries marries q or x marries y and then four statements were given and we had to answer the statement which negates this okay which is not which negates the conclusion of this particular statement so this statement was given and we have to give us give us like the answer which negates this statement okay or which proves this statement to be untrue so the uh, i think the answer was neither p marries q nor x marries y because it is given either p marries q or x marries y that means someone is getting married either p marries q p marries q or x will marry y so i think this statement negates this particular statement that neither p marries q nor x marries y um so this was the seventh question then there was like i said there were two questions from uh, your general english one we have already discussed the other question was a comprehension based question and uh, for that i think the answer was the second option which say, said that till now or till date we aren't aware of any other species so there were two statements where i think some confusion was lying the there was second this was the second option and there was one other option which is the fourth option which said there isn't any species uh, which has mental imagination similar to that of humans okay uh, but till now there is no because in the statement they had mentioned that till now we haven't been able to find out any other species right so this was very important that till now or till the date one of these sentences was given um so till now or till date we aren't aware of any species which have a mental imagination similar to that of humans so according to that i think the second option is the correct answer um, then there was a question based on the Venn diagram that 40% drink tea and 35% drink coffee and 10% drink both tea and coffee. So how, what percentage drinks the neither of them, neither tea nor coffee? So for that, the correct answer was 35%, right? And then there was a last question on triangle. There was a triangle, um, like the word triangle was given to us and we had to basically find out its mirror image along the X axis. So um, based on that, I feel that um, there was like among the four options in option number A, uh, the, the along the x-axis, the direction of the E was changed. Like instead of having E like this, like they had changed this direction of E, which is not possible. Okay, so I think A statement was not correct because of this reason. Then um, if you talk about the reflection of N along the, along the x-axis, then it will look something like this. Okay. But in option number D, they had shown N like that only. They had not basically changed its uh, orientation. So accordingly, D also was not the correct answer. So there was competition between B and C. And in option number B and C, the only change was 
that the way the G was oriented, okay, in the triangle, in the word triangle, the way the G was oriented was different in both the cases, okay. So I don't exactly remember the options, um, but it was either B or C according to me, right. So these are the tentative answers. Um, if you feel that there is some question that I have answered incorrectly or the tentative answer that I have proposed is incorrect, do let me know down in the comment section so that I can pin it up if the if your statement turns out to be true um, so that it can benefit others as well. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because honestly it takes a lot of effort um, to make these kind of videos. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, again, I wish or I hope that you like this video and uh, you were able to get the maximum questions right. Um, and all the very best for the upcoming results. And at last, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do um, subscribe to it. And if I have um, or if this channel has benefited you in any way, I would request you to share it among your juniors or among your colleagues um, so that they can also be a part of this platform and benefit from it. So that's about it. I will see you in the next video really soon. I'm teaching live on the Unacademy platform in the CSR UGC net category where I'm taking both the free classes as well as the paid courses. So if you want to get access to the free classes, all you have to do is download the Unacademy app and when joining the CSR UGC net category, you have to use the unlock code that is SETHI. This is absolutely free of cost and you will get access to all my classes. While if you want to take the paid subscription or the plus subscription, there is a subscription fee for that. And if you want some discount on the subscription fee, you can use the referral code SETHI. This will give you 10% discount. On top of that, you will also get access to the my WhatsApp group where I frequently post a lot of updates related to exams and other things. In addition, with the plus subscription, what all benefits you are going to get? Well, you can watch all my sessions. Apart from that, you can watch other sessions that are um, available from other educators in the CSR UGC net category. You will also get a frequent mock test for the examination for your practice and some doubt solving sessions as well. So if you're interested in joining the plus platform, you can definitely check out the free classes first and then take a decision to take the plus classes. Do not forget to use these referral codes. Uh, this will give you a discount for the plus subscription and this code you have to use when you're joining the app to get access to all my free classes.